Hello family and welcome back to the channel. I hear tell of Porsche is still knocking at that door. That entertainment door. That got Bravo name written all over it. She want to come on back to the Real Housewives of Atlanta, y'all. Y'all tell me what y'all think about that in those comment sections. Or in the comment section below. Uh, yes. Hush it up, boy. Sorry about that, guys. Everybody wants to do stuff when I'm taping. Jaden! We'll just close him out for the time then. But yes, child, I was here in Portia. Portia, 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 Portia. <gasps> uh, Williams, okay? Not goodbye to you, but Williams. Is over there trying to get them to recognize her again. She's trying to make herself way back over there to a job she said she didn't want to have anymore because she had her billionaire husband, fiance, or however y'all want to see him. I see him as a glorified boyfriend. Yes, Andy Cohen talked her into getting her own special on The Real Housewives of Atlanta's Dime, and it failed miserably. Okay, because the only thing people took out of it was ratcheticity at its best. Okay, we want to seem like we want to see somebody. Well, I don't know, hell, some people might want to see the World Federal, what well, the World Wrestling Federation going on. Featuring Portia Williams. Maybe a, a few of us want to see that. But then people that just don't want or they feel they're classy enough. They don't want to see that shit. They want to see you moving and proving and doing the darn thing. And giving us ideas that we can probably apply to our lives. But you know when we talk about Portia that we got to stay in Messyville. And she, we got to serve up the shady punch as much as possible. Because it's the only thing to keep us sane when we have to sit through anything that Portia puts together. Okay. She needs another team. She needs to fire her PR team that's over there helping her knock on them doors. When they should be telling her baby it's gonna be hard to uh, rebrand you this year i don't know i think you just need to go out there well hell just listen to me sometimes just go on out there and be a part of the pta organization work your way back up in the community show and prove a whole nother side of you portion is what i'm saying because if i was on your team i like i'm uh -uh, scratch this idea you can't do no entertainment this year baby you got to show and prove for the next two years that you have changed you're not ratchet you ain't ready to throw them hands, throw no blows, and ready to take somebody out at will just because they're getting on your nerves. So, we need to paint you as a dutifully Christian based woman again, is what you tried to sell us when you first came on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And you're over there at your child's school, uh, showing and proving, being a part of the PTA system, and maybe. Um, you can run for the PTA presidency and win. And then we can, you know, serve you up where we can get you back in the community and people are believing you and believing in you to where you can build up a profile. Because you got to build your public back up to being on your team. Because right now, every, I won't say everybody because I'll be generalizing, but just say some of us will want to see you rebranding that way. Get back in the community. Be for real with what you're doing and not make it a television expose. You know, you could do it behind closed doors or, you know, you might be on channel 2, 5, 11, or 46 here in Atlanta. You know, we showing and proving you doing stuff out there in the community. And maybe, just maybe, your auntie Elizabeth Elizabeth, who's part uh, or the owner now of the Jose uh, Williams Food Bank for the homeless and um, the hungry folks out there. Okay, maybe she will let you do something with them again. But right now, everything is just off the table. I don't know why you over there trying to fool with them new cast members. Okay, let them have some shine, shine. Because the only one that wants you back was um, Kenya, and pretty much she was going to use the hell out you and your storyline. Yes, because I would do that. You know what I'm saying? Because that the uh, credentials or the criteria was to be ratchet here and there, you would be my main focus of commentary. But uh, Sheree, uh, Drusadora, Marlo, Sanya, 
and eating candy. They don't want you back, girl. They don't want you back. You look more as a liability than bringing anything positively to the show. They ain't got time to be sitting up there throwing blows with you and all this, that, and the third. And uh, I'm sorry you just missed your boat. I don't know who told you you could hold down a show on your own and your family was going to be there with you. Uh, and it seems like you got more people on your, what do you call it? No, I guess I wouldn't say that either because um, you just, you did well done in producing that uh, train wreck of a show that's now still burning. Uh, and uh, we're trying to put the fire out as much as we can, but you keep trying to knock on the door, bringing everything back up to fruition that we had to watch. Okay, we didn't really have to watch, we were curious, and you know, like sometimes when you get curious, you kill the cat. Okay, but cats have nine lives, so we're still springing out and springing forward on your behind. But cheers, 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 cheers to you and your train wreck of a spinoff show. All right, and I just it just mind boggled me. That you have this um, African man. I think he's a Lib Li Liberian man. I'm not sure. It might be Kenya. But y'all straight me out again. Because y'all know I forget. Because I don't have the time to be thinking about Simon. You know, Simon just look like a little grandpa. They ain't doing shit. Ain't showing and proving nothing of his uh, way he get his money. And how he get down out in those streets. He's too much of an uh, uh, okay, um, what do you call it? Anomaly or... Uh, well, a person you can't really find out anything about. You know, he's almost like a mystery or a person that just tries to hide who he really is. Okay, so he's pretty much not wanting the spotlight on him per se. He just want to be a part of the mess and show his optics. But he don't want to show you really what he gets down and do. So, Tada, congratulations. You did a well job securing that man. Okay, but... You know, sometimes we would want you to see and prove of this young lady. She's using her platform with the Real Housewives of Atlanta to solidify other uh, revenue streams and solid platforms. So when she do call herself leaving the show for other adventures or other, or other avenues of making money, at least she could say she got a nice bank account when she does leave. And it's going to be because she wants to leave and not because a man want her to leave. Okay, or promising her this, that, and the third. All right, but these girls, the new girls and the OGs that are there, meaning Marlo and Sheree and Candy, they don't want you there. Kenya said she would have you back, but you know, that's a loaded <laughs> invitation right there. Because you never know how she would want to twirl out on you. Okay? And um, they just said in uh, past YouTube streets commentary that I've been listening to. The ladies want to have a chance, meaning the new, the new ladies, they want to have a chance to basically uh, work their way through storylines and build their fan base appearance on the show. So with you coming back, you will be taking all of that, okay? Because we know you'll show up and show out and make shit out of nothing just to get that spotlight on you. But we say cheers to you for creating a mess of a spinoff show and that you need to keep trucking, all right? Because, you, you know, you keep knocking. Ain't nobody coming to the door. They see you. They see you on security camera when you try to approach the whole building establishment. And they were like, no way. Don't let her in. Just tell her we'll call her. Don't call us. Kind of scenario. What's going on? Because why would you want to be a part of a show if you're married to a billionaire? You should be doing some charity work in the industry or outside in the community. You should be worried about being on no show, working. You, should, you don't want to work. You know what I'm saying? you got a billion dollars. What work? Labor. You should be dreaming of working and having labor and toiling. You should be, you know, going to Costa Rica, laying on the sand, doing whatever you want to do outside of working. You get my, you get my drift, uh, Portia? Do you understand what I'm trying to say? These women still want to collect their check. They have other avenues that they want to pursue. And they're using this platform to the best of their ability to achieve those goals. Okay. I would have thought Sheree would have wanted you back. But she don't even want you back. And quiet as it's kept lies, I'm going to speak it out. I heard her boyfriend. The guy that was in prison. 
He wants to make an appearance on the show. And if it was me, I'd say, hell to the no, no, no. Because you didn't want to. You tried to send us a cease and desist, a cease and desist letter talking about you, branding you, about you even being there. You don't want no parts of it. Now you want to come back and play ball. Uh-uh. I would say it to him that ship has sailed. We have taped and we're moving on. Okay. Because saying you should be able to give us something. Um, Trey should be able to give us something other than her man that was in prison but now he didn't want to be shown back what three months ago and sending out all these strange things from lawyers to bravo about him being appearing and he should be appearing or even having his name being spread out on social media because he didn't give the green light for that okay no 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 and these two women they're befitting they they bit too much off the apple they saw too much too fast and now they're complaining they wants to be back on the show how dreadful in my dwight's voice and the shit like on birth says just too much too much to take in too much to uh regurgitate so portia you can keep on keep on keep it on person like i said you should fire your team because they the one got you in this mess in the first place. But then again, you should have had some type of logistics and logic and reasoning on your own to feel like, no, I want to do both of them. Because if Kenya and Candy can do both, you could have did both of them. But you just saw yourself like Kim Zosie at. You're going to make this shit happen. It's going to be good and people going to love on you. And you're going to get two and three and four or five seasons, maybe eight. And you're just going to live happily ever after with your billionaire husband. But like... Ah, oh, Sheree has said, hell to the no, 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 no. We don't want you back because we got Marlo for some antics. And you know, Kenya always going to come through with the come through. She always going to push through and show up and show out. All right. And we be here for it. We sure do be here for it. Sometimes she be coming locked and loaded a little bit too heavy. But she tell people when you come for her and she ain't send you an invitation, don't get mad at how she, reser- how she returns the invitation. <laughs> Don't come for her unless you come in real strong because whatever you put out, she's going to triple that. So she always gave us a fair warning to when people try to, you know, invade her space when she didn't invite them or they try to come for her when she didn't send for them. There is going to be repercussions. Okay. And they are expeditiously very strong. Her delivery is very strong serving back to them. Okay. So, yes, Sheree should give us something. Um, Marlo should give us something. Drusa Dora, she's to me. I just really don't know what we're gonna do about her. I think we should have kept Shamari DeVoe, but that's neither here nor there. I'm sure, pretty sure Marlo was give us would give us a lot of the two nephews she's raising. Uh, Ken's gonna pretty much stay a bump on the log and just be a mediator between the two. And to tell you the truth, did y'all hear the real is ending, is canceling, and Gina Mai, she has her own uh, jewelry company, I believe, a jewelry line, and she has her clothing line, something to that effect. So she will be free. So what I told y'all on that video where I said Candy going to get a promotion behind the scenes, it may be coming into fruition because Jeannie Mai has definitely taped with the Real Housewives of Atlanta, even though it was through Drew Sedora having her, what do you call it, re-wedding or rededication to themselves or, or what now i don't know why people do that shit either because either man or the woman gonna stay with you or they not okay it just is what it is keep knowing each other year after year after year because things do change okay people do change you just have to grow in the same direction all right but you know we already heard from candy because candy can't hold water her and marlo gonna have some words they said Sanya ain't about that shit either. Okay. I'm like, okay, girl, you the Olympian running around now. But we don't want to be hearing about no sports activities because we ain't no sports lover. So we're going to need you to come with the come through. You show us what you actually do in real life. You know, you're a sports woman, sports casting woman now. You can show us a little bit here and there, but we want a little bit more. Okay. If you want to show us how you be inking them deals and this, that, and the third, that's cool too. We like that. Okay. But we do have a, a other people in our family that likes a little drama here and there okay so yes and then you got like some marlo i don't really know what she's gonna show us other than fashion uh i'm pretty sure she ain't gonna show us one of her sugar daddies or not she should you know let us know a little something, something who, however she spends her time without the kids without the girls 
You know, who is she spending her quiet time with? We want to know. We're curious. Okay, we got nine lives over him. When are we going to spin them up as shortly as possible? But, and we got Drew Sedora. I don't know. She kind of played like she want to be Porsche. Yes, she's to me like a little Porsche lookalike or something. Okay, but Sanya is very promising, I hear. Because Candy told us, of course, she the bone collector. So I don't really know what Sheree going to be doing. But we can have both Sheree and Candy being the bone collector, all right? But uh, Portia, yes, you bit off more than you wanted, uh, or should have bit off. You bit off more than you could chew, baby. And that's called greedy, all right? So, hey, you got to deal with it. You might come back in two years after Sanya and um, who was, uh, I guess it was just Sanya. And Sheree and Marlo trying to do their thing. I hear here and there Cynthia may try to come back and do a cameo. I don't know why. I'm pretty sure Kenya, I mean, Kenya has something to do with that as well. But like I said, they offered uh, Big Head, uh, Cynthia, a friend role. She didn't want to take it. Because her husband probably telling her, you were better than that. Go on and do your own thing. This, that, and the third. And she listened to him. Same with Portia did. Always listen to men. <laughs> do the men listen to y'all when y'all trying to give them direction and navigate through some problems that they're having? Do they listen to y'all? Probably not. Okay. But it just is what it is. But Portia sit you behind down. Nobody's checking for you over at the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Uh franchise that it's not feeling you right now and they don't already invested in these other women because we definitely i definitely want to see what marlo gonna bring since she's gonna be a peach holder and not just a side chick running around here or you know nini's little side chick or who else she was running around mm, can't really remember so it must have just been nini so she's gonna be filling nini's shoes in my eyesight. And of course she don't want Nene to come back. She don't want none of the old cats come, coming back. Trying to take her shine. Her thunder. And her execution. Because she needs to play her role for at least uh, these two years. To let us see what she has to bring. More than what she was trying to show us. As a side chick of Nene's. Okay. So Portia there's no need for you. From what Candy says. They got it down on lock. We're going to see a lot of interesting things. And it's going to be very dramatic. So you and Nene were trying to bring the dramatic sea uh, into the franchise. But your services are no longer needed. Because it seems like um, Sanya has a little spice to her. We know Marlo can get down. And King, I mean, uh, Sheree, she could do a little something, something when asked to do so. Okay, but that's all I got, child. I'm like, stop knocking at doors that don't want to see you anymore. Okay, they don't want to be uh, trying to put out some money for a special that you and your fiancé should already have on lock. Go on and get married. Maybe they'll want to tape that to see, is it true? Is it worth? You know, doing, you know, giving her a spinoff or let's see what Portia's doing after she got married type of show. Uh, maybe, but they don't want to spend any money on you because, you know, what they thought was golden was full dramatic scenes of this show you had was going to be positive and child. Uh -uh. And then you had to go back and say, can we um film something else in rebuttal to what my ex-boyfriend said about me and not being a good parent this that and the third you had to come back and alter a little stuff so we didn't pretty much appreciate that or like that you should have just let it flow for what it was and you shouldn't have brought so much hands-on treatment for the negative is what we're saying because you might have would have had a season two three four maybe eight okay because it wasn't that bad it's just you know you had some family members <laughs> um, I think her name was Darlene. She was kind of crazy. I ain't gonna lie. She, she was kind of like she needed some counseling and some medication and the Lord. All in that area. Not putting one before the order. Because she should have the Lord versus them. You know, talking with a counselor about some of her antics. And then taking some medication to try to cool her down. But that's neither nor here or there. But then you had... um. You had Storm running around now, dropping dime on Dennis. We don't know if it's true or not. Uh, but that wasn't a good look either for her to be coming out of your past, baby daddy. Okay. And um, Simon just sitting up there just taking it all in like it ain't him. But uh, if somebody try to hit her, I guess I'll block. I might block. Well, I might just pick her up off the floor when somebody clock her. I, I, I don't know. It just went south very fast. <laughs> 
you are so very fast for some, you had you was a part of a train that didn't have a conductor girl the train was just riding free and fancy by itself until it finally cascaded off of the rails okay and here rock right bottom and the flames started and we're still trying to put them out okay but it just is what it is girl you got your dream honey you got your man you got your billion dollar man you should never be wanting to come to bravo again for any type of handout and you should be not even addressing them for anything you should be addressing zeus networks or better yet and i'm not being shady you need to find an acting coach and try if you want to be a part of the industry the entertainment industry bravo is not the only ticket baby bravo is not the only ticket you just need to be with the coach learn how to um project yourself when you're on camera hey you can probably make it in a soap opera world okay but you got to learn how to learn lines and i don't know what went wrong with your hollywood debut when you were on sharknado i forgot what channel it was probably the sci-fi channel but you had a little skit there it wasn't much it's more like a cameo if anything but you know i saw potential you know you could how they be having these score screen king uh strength scream queens when you're on uh, a part of a horror movie or something like that but they always kill black folks when you get into the horror movie because we ain't, we ain't for the shits so we ain't trying to investigate nothing if it sounds bad we run in the other way uh, it, it, we just don't get down like that not many black folks okay but we do have some black folks that uh, are curious and want to get into dramatic scenes such as the horror film industry but uh yeah you just need to sit up there spend whatever money you do have left and go and get an acting coach and then you know take some of this aggression that you have and put it in the soap opera world at least we know you you don't know these folks you're trying to put hands on or or get their hair and try to hold them down and stuff like that i think you can do a little bit on soap opera but you can't um really you know strike and 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 get blood on your hands you know what i'm saying you can take it to a certain degree but then it's, it's cut 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 don't go no further okay but yeah you'll do well i believe in that type of business soap opera or the horror flicks or zeus network so don't say Dale chanel didn't try to help you out on different avenues if you wanted to stay a part of the um what you call it entertainment business all right but no bravo's not checking for you they don't spend their money and they're uh, and they spend money on other projects and you're just not one of them and with the public pretty much coming after you the way we are uh it's because your st it's your stupidity and your arrogancy that you're still holding on to stop being prideful uh learn from what we're saying find the better part of what we're trying to say in our um videos towards you no nobody help you help uh, don't nobody hate your porch really don't not over here in, in my family we just don't like the shit that you do it kind of makes you f uh, look foolish fakery fraudulent and fuckery uh and that in those four way words it kind of make you look bad okay so we're trying to clean you up and trying to help you rebrand yourself so people won't be looking at you like damn you stupid you know what i'm saying Whoo, child, God gave you common sense, but it must have went on out to somebody else. You must have breathed your common sense onto somebody else, and they took yours and left you with zero. Zilch, nada. Okay, but we'll see you next time, and hopefully you're doing better. If not, we'll check you, and we'll continue to check you until you get it right. Okay, because we want you to do better. We want you to see the error of your ways, and so we can say, well done, and see you progress in another light. Okay? But if you still keep bothering Bravo, such as what Nini's doing, you keep being jealous of their successes, and you're wondering why you don't have the same success, you might want to check. Check yourself. Check inventory of yourself and how you're coming and going and how you're treating people in your own family. Worse than uh, somebody would treat a, a, a puppy, you know what I'm saying, or a dog or a cat that's homeless out there. You see what I'm saying? So Portia, check yourself and you might can see you can do better and people that's trying to give you advice such as me it's coming from the heart it's coming from the heart baby because i want to see you do well because right now you're in the toilet and you're trying to stay in the toilet because you're depending on a man to take care of you and that's where your first wrong mistake you've made okay you cannot rely on a man to take care of you especially when you're not evenly yoked it's giving me cordial teas right now and uh, yeah, it's just not feeling and looking good for you, Portia. So you got to check yourself. You got to do some self-inventory. And then uh, you may be able to 
uh, work through a plan where you can uh, implement and uh, hopefully it'll bring and be very fruitful for you. But right now, girl, you need to stop putting a hair in that dog. That uh, because the girl's not a doll. Your baby is not a doll. Uh, you need to stop doing that mess. Let that girl hair grow. Let it breathe. And just like you letting your hair breathe and grow, uh, stop putting that shit in um, PJ's head. Okay? Do right. Do better. Because you know better. Okay? People are telling you what to do and you just keep annoying them. And that's why other people are excelling such as Kenya Moore. Candy Burris, Shamil Morton, uh, who else you hang out with? Tanya Sams, because they don't do this foolishness that you do. Look at the people that you're hanging around, Porsche. Look at the people you're hanging around. See how they moving and shaking and grooving and getting jobs, okay? And not having no job. They have jobs, okay, baby? All right, but I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.